So a lot of people tell me that they have problems with getting their pages indexed to Google. It means that these pages don't even show up in the index. So why is this happening and what can you do? This is what I'm going to talk about in this quick video. So as a as a yeah, as for some background information, a couple of years ago, um, you would publish a new page, put it on your website, and then go to Google Search Console, click on index here or index now, and it will be indexed the next moment. It was a lot of fun because you could go into your rank tracker and you would put it in the rank tracker before you submitted it, and then the rank tracker will be at, I don't know, place, uh, it will be placed uh, 200 or not, not NA, you know, not visible. And then the moment you index it, it would jump to, I don't know, position 15, 20, uh, sometimes even first page if you got lucky. So these times are kind of over because Google has become much more exclusive. They're like a nightclub these days, as I like to describe it. And back in the days, everybody would be admitted into the nightclub and, yeah, and, and, and could play the game of ranking better and eventually getting into the VIP which will be the, the rankings uh, on the first page and especially one, two, three. And so nowadays, because Google has limited resources and they have to, yeah, they don't want to throw all of their computing power on spam sites or pages or websites that they deem low quality, um, they have taken some measures to prevent them from even being indexed. So if some, if your pages or at least some of your pages, as I would assume, are not indexing in Google, um, there, there are a couple of possibilities here. So it could be low quality and thin content. Low quality could be, I don't know, just an article copied from somewhere else. It could be 150 words, badly written with a lot of spelling mistakes. It could be thin content. SEOs call thin content, content that is, I don't know, 50 words, 100 words, you know. Uh, where especially all of the competitors for this certain term maybe have a lot more. So you should always compare yourself against your competitors for a certain keyword. There is no rule that fits everything, you know. There's some keywords where it's totally legit that you have 50 words on your page. I don't know, for example, a local plumber, right? He doesn't need to write 3,000 words about how he does the plumbing and everything. But... If it's an article about, I don't know, how to get pregnant, or, oh, well, that's a short one, I hope, uh, or an article about, <laughs> how did I go up with this one? Um, or an article about, I don't know, how to how to get a driver's license, right? right? That, that might be worth writing 3,000 words over. So that's that. Um, so you can work on this. You might have a new website, and uh, usually in the beginning, Google is, is, is pretty careful not to give new websites too much visibility, so it might be just a matter of time. You can usually shorten this by, by making sure you get linked to from other, re uh, author author not authoritarian, but uh, um, authority websites, you know, other websites that are, that are important to Google that have a good reputation. And what else you can do is you can use an indexer. Um, there are certain tools, but it's usually pretty difficult and you have to pay for it. And uh, yeah, um, and it's not guaranteed that your pages are getting indexed. So another thing here, what, could the pro what the problem could be is duplicated content. You know, let's assume you have local landing pages, for example, like, I don't know, you are a dentist and you have five locations, and you have a location page for Dentist Zurich, Dentist Luzern, Dentist another city, and everywhere you use this completely the same content. And the moment there's, there's, a, the, the, there's duplicated content that Google can find either on your website um, or either on external websites, they think to themselves, yeah, why should we, why should we rank you for this if, if this seems to be just duplicate content? This is especially a problem in e-com where, um, yeah, let's assume you have a million products online and you have to have some product descriptions that you usually take from the manufacturer. So you can, you can assume or uh, so it can happen that, I don't know, thousands of pages use the same description. So it's very hard to stand out there and likely Google doesn't rank you for this because you're, you're not unique. You, read, you need to be really unique in order to get into the nightclub. You cannot be a copy of a copy of a copy. Um, it could be other technical SEO issues, content cannibalization, um, that two articles try to rank for one, but usually it's, it's, it's duplicate content or low quality. Um, it could be a lack of internal linking. For example, I'm doing 
SEO for a big, big website um, that is kind of the Netflix uh, for a certain European country for the national television. And imagine you have 10,000, 15,000 TV shows and movies to index, um, all with not a lot of unique content. You need to do. You need to think very deeply about internal linking, um, so that Google can actually crawl and, and find these pages. And the last point here is, yeah, you need to make sure Google can access and crawl your website. This is basically what what technical SEO is all about. And for example, there's certain there's certain website types and certain types of programming a website that don't even allow for Google to crawl the website or make it really difficult. So especially when it comes to so-called React, then yeah, you might have a big, big issue at hand. And uh, yeah, that might be a, a much deeper thing. You will see this especially, let's assume, I recently had looked into it for a client or pro for a prospect actually. I think they have around 1,000 pages online currently. And if you enter into Google site, S-I-T-E, and then, I don't know how to, these two points, I don't know how they're called in English. And then the website, and then enter, you see all of the pages that Google has indexed for that website. And I think last time I checked, I could only find 10 or 20. That's a big indication that it is a React problem, at least in their case. So yeah, it is often not the one thing, and often you need to go down a path of finding out what it could be, right? Uh, that's what I'm being paid for. Um, so yeah, hope that gave you some some insight. It's not so easy. You can't do it in in in, in inches. I don't know. In, in in five minutes, as as some clients or people want, you know. Uh, yeah, it's it's not a magic trick. It's it's making sure that a lot of things work properly on the website. So have a good day.